the Well Health and Safety Project, we began that in um, the late fall of 2020, and then we actually achieved the uh, rating in May of 2021. The rating really supported a lot of what we were already doing. When I started in this role in 2008, uh, we did have a history of um, sustainability in our building. So we were, I think, early leaders in that part. And then when we started looking more holistically at sustainability, it may have started with the energy and water efficiency and recycling, but then we also complemented that with the um, employee wellness, health and safety, and making sure that um, our occupants are in high performing buildings. I think it's really important that the facilities management team, um, this, was, this rating was a way to acknowledge their efforts because a lot of their day-to-day -day work is behind the scenes and people don't always know what they're doing. Um, they hear a lot of the complaints instead of a lot of the compliments. So it's a nice way to recognize, again, what they were already practicing. I think with this well health and safety rating, it was very timely that it could highlight a lot of the cleaning and sanitization efforts that were happening um, to combat the COVID pandemic. It's because we were able to get the certification prior to having um, most of our employees come back to our offices and then being able to be very transparent with them on what the rating was about, what kind of policies and practices it supported, a lot of the air and water quality um, information that is of, you know, on the forefront of employees and, and occupants. But I think because we already had a, a groundwork for a lot of what the rating was trying to do in terms of our cleaning practices, emergency preparedness, our air and water quality testing, you know, it was a nice complement to our existing policies and practices.